I think that idea of just working a little less is a wonderful way to think about what we should be doing. Hi, I'm Tim O'Reilly. I'm the author of a book called WTF, What's the Future and Why It's Up to Us. I think universal income may be the, the right idea sold the wrong way with the wrong implementation. <laughs> I had an interesting conversation with the labor economist David Autor from MIT. I asked him, were there any natural experiments in effectively the equivalent of universal basic income? And he said, sure, Saudi Arabia and Norway. He said, in Saudi Arabia, uh, they look down on work. Uh, they've created a sinecure kind of, uh, you know, high value universal basic income for members of the, uh, the, the Saudi families. And most of the work is done by guest workers who are paid terribly. And it's not a very good society. He said in Norway, they took that oil wealth and they fund a generous social safety net. Everybody works, they just work a little less. And I think that idea of just working a little less is a wonderful way to think about what we should be doing. You know, what if we put people to work, but what if we actually said, well, we don't actually have to work as much as we used to. That's what we did, did in the past. You know, the average work week in 1800 was 70 hours a week. Uh, it, we brought it down to 35, 40. We used to send children into the fields and factories, and then we sent them to school. We could do that again. We could reduce the work week. Uh, we could, uh, create an allocation for people to do continuing education, to always learn new skills. There's all kinds of other ways that we could take this bounty of machine productivity and put it into a more human economy.